All right, uh, you're looking at um, Linux Mint 18.1 Serena, so um, Cinnamon, and we have installed VirtualBox, and we're going to show you what I do to install and customize Linux Mint 18.1 Cinnamon. What I do, what I do first is I use the elements I have built up during the years, meaning. I go to the GitHub of Eric Dubois. That's me. And even with Yahoo, I can find it. Should I explain it already? No, maybe later. So, first, the GitHub of Eric Dubois. There is an Ultimate Linux Mint 18.1. There is also an 18. But this is an 18.1 sentiment. So, I need this. It's filled with all kinds of scripts to install separate elements and everything is explained. I'm gonna download the zip. Save the file, do this automatically. Okay. Unpack it. And then let's put this on the desktop and let's work from there. We don't need this anymore. So now there are different things you can do depending how sure you are what's happening to your system. If it's a test PC, whatever, just try the quick install version 3. Check out what's inside. Uh, if it's a working computer, then you probably go over the scripts, what's inside, and run them one by one. What I'll do is install the core software and two, the extra software, and three, the themes and the icons, and then already a lot is installed. And all the rest elements are sometimes installed or not installed, depending on my choice whether I'll need it or not. So the quick install is an easy way. The quick install is also the one I think display. I added also a kernel inside. If I'm not mistaken the last time I've installed the kernel as well. You see? So it's really really everything is installed. Now I would suggest to work in phases, meaning you first install the kernel, see that it boots, and then you work along. So uh, run in terminal. Let's take the, the approach of the careful approach. Do not be too secure. So He's going to download the latest uh, Linux headers. We did not see what was inside, so here they are. They will be delete deleted later. Let's go inside with time to check it out. It's working. So all it does, all it does is check our get, we w get three zip files and it's going to install them and afterwards if everything is installed it's going to remove them yeah so not much to see really but it's a lot of work and it's important work it's going to get the latest kernel i always do this first well if if you don't if you know the computer and you've done 50 installations yeah you can do the quick install you'll know it will work but if you're watching this movie, it's mi it might be a good thing to first do the kernel and then see if the everything still works and then you can start customizing your system. I'm making the movie a bit smaller by pausing. Voila, everything is done, everything is installed. What we're gonna do now is reboot and check if our kernel is okay. So let's tell them to restart our 
conky is, is working here in the top uh, right. The memory is going up. Two systems in one. There we are. Let's ask a control alt D and do a U name minus A. And okay, so that's done. Everything works. We are working on a 4.9. Then I see this little button here. We completely forgot to do that. Optimize stability and security. If you want to always update everything, it's whatever you want to choose. I regularly, most of the time, I use this one. So stability and security. If you don't want to see this pop up, do you want to switch to a local memory? You can do so if you want to. Last uh, installations, I go to preferences. Don't suggest to switch to a local mirror. So I keep on the official server. Hoping to get updates sooner. Install the updates. Those are the two things you do, should do first. Install your Linux Mint, install the updates, and install the kernel. And if everything still works, well, then it's fine. Then you can start installing your software. So, the new Cinnamon 3.2.7. Cinnamon screen saved and the MDM is our display manager. GDM is the other one, of GNOME, there are many others. And some min sources I see, min backup, and even a Firefox update. And then I can't read it anymore. You can read it here. If you want to follow the details, you can see it there as well. Okay. Finished. Can I close you? Well, you could uh, install the kernel as well. Since we have a 4.9 kernel, it's a bit strange, so I'll just right mouse click it and say ignore it so it won't pop up anymore and you can find it in the ignore section somewhere was it in the preferences blacklisted packages linux okay now we can go ahead with the rest of our scripts so, two things, you can now choose one of one, two and three and see what you've got. And then if you see elements and programs that you say, oh, well, I have to, what's this or what's that? So you can try it out by just clicking it. So I'm going to do what I always do, run in terminal might be a good thing to follow what the terminal is doing so I'll quickly make the preferences the way I want it voilà. there's all the preferences of Nemo and we have now a little icon here open a terminal here and now I can say give me a one and then do this in the meantime, I'm going to make it a little bit more beautiful. Get rid of this. And then the profile preferences. Custom fonts. You need to see all this. C 
16 is probably enough and we do like our transparency like so and we don't need this one and we're working so everything is going to be installed I could just go away and eat a bit it's just going to install everything that's in this little script if you see things you don't want to install delete it or put a hashtag in front and it won't be installed simple as that so reuse the work I've done I'm gonna pause the movie Script number one is finished. When I press arrow up, you see this is script one. So now I'm gonna take script two and press enter again. It's going to install Google Chrome and many other software. It's maybe best I pause the movie again. Script number two has been finished. So arrow up, this is script two. So we go to script three. This might take the longest, why? because it's going to install things from Git and sometimes Git gets slow I don't know why but some of the the hits on this uh, site really take some time so it's just uh, waiting then or rerun the script so if you see for instance here 0% working and you say now why 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 is it taking this long well control C and the script is uh, interrupted and you press it again so I'm gonna do just that Control C and see if everything if things are moving along now and as you can see it's the strange, strangest thing but then everything works so it's, um, it's often an, an internet connection that's slow or something similar so this is the last um, script the script is about the icons sardi icons sardi extra icons aureola conchi and arc themes and mint y themes so um, it's a lot of um, theming actually all about desktop theming making the movie pause again and there we are the last thing has been installed and uh, it's time for us to end this movie this, this was all about installing elements from the github and all we did now was one two and three and we're gonna customize our system in the next movie